for the most part, it was a poor word choice. And uh, I mean, no ill will or um, anything to happen to anybody's family, especially Representative Breeds. Uh, but the bottom line is we had 14 individuals die in the Quincy Veterans Home. And we, uh, 70 people were ill. And what was described was exactly what happened to our veterans. I do apologize for my poor word choice and um, for the, the personal um, way that the statement came across. It was not personal and it was not meant any ill will to anybody at all. She may have made some references that were, were inappropriate. The fact that uh, she may be able to or intends to speak on the House floor today uh, shows a graciousness uh, on her part uh, and at the same time uh, with Representative Ives uh, feeling very passionate in her defense of uh, our floor leader. Uh, she was very strong in, in, in her defense of, this, uh, of the floor leader. I don't think that the comments were intended as harshly as they came out, but they did come out that way. So uh, my compliments to uh, the, the legislator for her willingness to apologize. And then uh, the, the direct response to the GOP chair, Tim Schneider, uh, calling for you The person who should resign is Director Shaw. Uh, in my opinion, resignation is uh, not an appropriate action uh, for for Representative Kifflewit. Uh, again, she, she spoke passionately. She was concerned about what had happened at uh, the Quincy Veterans Home. Um, sometimes people, when they get uh, in the heat of a debate, get, uh, get a little bit too carried away. That doesn't necessarily mean uh, a resignation is in order.